Well, I play Sean's stepdad, uh, and he's a, he's a self-made man. Believes in hard work, hard work pays. He believes in getting things done with his hands. Hank is trying to connect with Sean, goes up in his room, hey, you know, what are you doing? And he notices that, you know, there's a series of, uh, of numbers and letters put together in a way that Hank, being a, he was a code breaker in the Navy, um, uh, and very proficient at that, immediately recognize what, what, it, what it is. And, um, uh, and he, in his efforts to connect with Sean, says, hey, you know, I, what are you doing? Oh, it's nothing, I'm just trying to figure something out. Well, I know what it is. And we kind of had this moment of bonding where it actually was for the first time in years that we had actually been on the same page and that we bonded. And I helped him crack this code and um, it was essentially uh, a message from his, from his grandfather from Mysterious Island, saying that uh, the island is real. A lot of cool things about Mysterious Island, there's, you know, it's been around for 150 years and there is the, when the platelets shift, the island starts to sink and um, the island is sinking a lot faster than we thought, which then turns into, you know, a big race against time. There's a ticking time clock for us to get off this island or we're going to die. Um, which is great motivation. Death oftentimes is wonderful motivation. Um, but the island itself, um, the island itself is beautiful. We've had a lot of fun on the movie and, um, and I'm very, very proud of him. I'm proud of the performance that he put, uh, that he put in this movie and, and now that the movie's over I can, I can say that he put on one hell of a performance and uh, if we're fortunate enough and lucky enough to do it again, I'll do it in a second, because he was dynamite, dynamite co-star. And also too, I think for him, what I also love was the physicality that he brought to the role. And, and he is, he's a physical kid who, uh, who was doing a lot of things. And you'll see him, you'll see him in this movie doing a lot of, doing a lot of physicality, doing a lot of stunt work. He was doing it on his own. But you get around Michael and he's just such a great guy. Fantastic. Guy's guy, which I love. And, you know, in addition to, you know, great scenes, and I want to have some great scenes, and we, we clash right away, so there's great confrontation and conflict with us right from the top, which I, I think always makes things more interesting. And I think especially like this where it's layered with humor. Um, for example, I consistently call him uh, by older women's names. I call him Betty White and, uh, you know, um, uh, Sean's grandmother and um, Mary Poppins and <laughs> uh, and then he of course calls me what he calls me um, which is which is hilarious what's interesting about Louis is is he he can he can bring it just I think in terms of his drama and his dramatic performances that he's done over the years and he's also great at comedy which is a mark of just I think a great actor who's very talented when I first met Brad uh, in Atlanta, when he flew out, uh, within five minutes, within five minutes, I knew I liked him. And within an hour after hearing his vision, uh, seeing his visuals, seeing him explain his visuals, um, and, and feeling his enthusiasm, uh, I knew that he was the right guy for the role, or at the very least, I knew that I wanted to work with him. Well, I think what's great about Hawaii uh, is the, the lushness of Hawaii. There are some parts of that island that you know, are really untouched. And you know, when a production, when, it, when it's called for and a production is lucky enough to be able to shoot over there, you take advantage of it. And I think it's called for with a movie like this because you, we can't replicate that.